also a behavioral health professional and leader and um, licensed therapist. So I'm a marriage and family therapist. For me, um, access to behavioral health is really important and especially focusing in on children and youth. So for instance, one of the things that I'm working on is the student behavioral health incentive program. So we're working with our county office of education, school districts, and community partners to increase access to Medi-Cal services, uh, behavioral health services in schools. So for me, the, the policy that's coming out around access to behavioral health and that multi-pronged strategy is really important to me, um, especially thinking about how we um, access uh, services. So children go to school every day. Um, they have relationships with teachers, administrators, school counselors, and those relationships can be very strong. And there's a lot of trust um, in the community for the schools. And I think in healthcare, we don't have that same level of trust uh, from the community. And so really building partnerships with our schools, I think is extremely important for us. And so the legislation that allows us to do that, the funding that allows us to do that is extremely important for us. Well, I have to say the Student Behavioral Health Incentive Program um, is really um, exciting because um, that ability to work in partnership with other organizations and schools has really, I think, opened up a whole new world for us. And our community partnerships um, with, for instance, we're uh, really paying attention to our migrant indigenous students and families um, and how the health care system has not served them adequately. And so schools, as we have, are learning, are a very trusted partner. And so this is a, a, a large population for us in Ventura County um, that's really not receiving services. So going to school, you know, accessing teachers, accessing school counselors, and letting that be a place of healthcare delivery is really exciting. And then learning from our superintendents and our school administrators, the work that they're already doing to ensure health and well-being for students is incredible. So it's very humbling to come in from a healthcare side and look at the work that they're doing and be able to support and fund that and build that with the program.